Hey YouTube, guess who? Anyway, um, I just started reading this book today, and everything. It's called, oh, it's, yeah, Crazy Love, and everything. It's, like, really cool, and stuff. Um, like, it, it, it's about how God loves us, and everything, and he loves us so deeply and so passionately. And sometimes people get so caught up in religion that they fail to notice that, you know, God is free from religion. God is love. He is love. And so, anyway, um, and he has this, like, crazy, relentless, all-powerful love for us. Anyway, um, I was looking at this, like, first page and stuff in chapter one. The chapter itself is called Stop Praying. And I'm like, um, okay. But it actually had a really good point and everything, because the first page, it says, what if I said stop praying? What if I told you to stop talking at God for a while, but instead to take a long, hard look at him before you speak another word. Solomon warned us not to rush into God's presence with words. That's what fools do. And often, that's what we do. I mean, I personally, I've done that before. I mean, I used to pray like, you know, I used to rush into it with words and, you know, asking God for this, 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 everything, instead of just, like, listening to him everything listening to him like minister to me and whatever and God speaks to us and stuff if you don't believe that then you haven't encountered it and stuff like that and that's sad but God does speak to us speak to us he's spoken to me and everything and it's been like completely mind-blowing so it's just I'm really looking forward to this book and everything because like it, it I hope that will change my mindset because I really, I desire to chase after God. I desire to, like, hunt him down and, you know, <clears throat> not limit him and everything in into religion and everything. I mean, I have a lot of friends on Facebook that claim that Christianity is a religion and stuff. And true Christianity and everything is not a religion everything and I'm like I totally hate the word religion <laughs> I hate it <clears throat> because it's not religion everything it is a like fully personal passionate love relationship with your savior everything and it's just it's awesome everything it's just so hard to explain and everything and I try my best but you know um it, it's difficult to explain unless you've experienced it because I mean when you experience the complete passionate agape love of God and everything then you'll never be the same and everything um there's this Kim Walker song and everything I'll post the link down below but it's um how he loves us and everything it's uh the lyrics are he is jealous for me Love's like a hurricane. I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his love and mercy. And I'm like, that's like one of my favorite songs and everything. And it's it's completely amazing because it's so true and everything. God is, God loves us and everything with no abandon. Even if we reject him, he still loves us. And I mean, the gods in other religions, like everything, the gods, the false gods, actually, are, <clears throat> like, they love conditionally. They, the holy writings of these other religions are like, well, God loves you if you do this. And God loves you if you do that. And it's just... <sighs> It, that's not how the one true God is. Everything. He loves you unconditionally. If you reject him, if you, like, 
if you curse him, if you accept him, it, he'll love you regardless. He won't love what you're doing, but he will love you no matter what. Because you are his creation. Everything. And he came and he died for you. He came and he died for me. And he is now alive, risen, and he will be coming back. Hopefully soon. I can't wait. <laughs> because, oh my gosh. Heaven is going to be amazing. And, um, I completely can't wait. Because heaven is not some carnal, like, fleshly place. It is a place that is perfect and holy. And where we will have, like, complete freedom to worship the Lord. Everything. And, like, I mean, it may be, it may sound boring for those of you who don't know what true worship is and everything. But... If you've gotten into true worship and everything and actually, you know, plugged in with God through worship, then that's just, that's the tip of the iceberg from what heaven's going to be like and everything. And I have people that I know that are like, oh, I hope the rapture doesn't come this year and everything or whatever because I'm not ready. And like, <clears throat> or they're like, there's so much else that I want to do. And I'm like, oh. That God kind of talks about that in the Bible, about like the virgins who are waiting for the bridegroom. That that's not that's not literal. That's prophetic. And that's like um, what is the word? <sighs> Symbolic. I think it is. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Um, because there there's some symbolism in the Bible. Most of it is taken literally. But there are, like, say, John's vis visions of Revelation. I believe some of that is literal and some of that is symbolic. But, um, anyway, when, it, when Jesus was telling the parable about, like, the virgins who were waiting for the bridegroom to come back and everything, and some of, some of the virgins, they were ready and they had their wicks um, lit and they had extra oil for their lamps everything and then there are some that fell asleep and who weren't ready and everything and the bridegroom came and those who were ready went with him and those who weren't were left behind and everything and <laughs> it's amazing what the Bible does to you um, I had that all memorized <laughs> um, the Bible is a living word and everything and there's a place in your heart for it and everything if you just open that place and everything God places his word on our hearts and everything <clears throat> but anyway so I believe that there is a rapture yes the word rapture is not in the Bible but the meaning is there um, I would need to do some more research and everything because I like it's been so long since I've really talked about like the rapture and stuff but there's like there's Latin words and stuff that are in the Bible and everything um there's like a lat there's a Latin word I don't know if I'll I think it's called rapto or something I don't know I'm not even gonna get into it because if I'm wrong then everyone will jump on me and be like oh you're wrong and it's like uh oh sorry anyway but I have done like studies on this. It's been a long time, but um, the meaning of rapture is in the Bible because the meaning is caught up or swept away. Everything and those words are in the Bible in either First or Second Corinthians fifteen, and then Second Thessalonians two. I think I would, uh, I'll do another video talking about it and stuff like that after I've researched it. So. But anyway, um, those of us who are ready and everything, if, if you're right with God and everything, and if you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, then be ready because Jesus is coming back soon. And it might be sooner than we think. Now, I know people have said, have like said that, oh, the world's going to end on March 21st or May 21st. Oh, the world's going to end December 
21st, 2012, and it's like, oh my god, really? Okay, those who claim they are Christians, and those, and they say that the world is going to end on this date, they are wrong. Because the Bible even says this. It says in Matthew that no one knows the day nor the hour that the Lord will return. No one. Not even the angels know. And everything. God's going to be like, okay, time to go. And they're going to go. So, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I just, <clears throat> I am ready and everything. Because, I mean, the signs are all there. I mean, I, like, when I first got into studying, like, Bible prophecy, when I first read the, um, book Left Behind. Everything is by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. It is like an amazing book series. I have all the books. I have all the prequels. I have the sequel. I have everything. And I just, I even have the study books that they do on the end times prophecy. Everything. But it's just, it's an amazing book series because it just, it, it, it gets you thinking everything it really does I mean sure probably not everything will happen exactly how the books say nobody really knows they're kind of just guessing and stuff like that and going off of what the Bible says um but um when with uh, Tim, Tim LaHaye's study on like the rapture and stuff like that I've like I've done my own studying even before reading that and when I read it I'm like yeah I know that I already know that I know it's going to happen after this happens and all that stuff. And it's just, there's so many prophetic events that are coming true in this generation and everything. This generation. No other generation has ever had this many prophetic end times events come about. Everything. <clears throat> so it's just, I am like, I am totally prepared for the rapture to come at any time. It could happen now. Mm, not now. Okay. God has a sense of humor, so if anyone takes that as an offense, then that's their problem, but God has a sense of humor. Everything. Gosh, he created my dad. <laughs> my dad is a crazy character. Anyway, but yeah, I just... For Christians who, like do believe in the rapture but are hoping that it's not coming that's not the right mindset and everything we have hope and we hope for that blessed hope and everything of Jesus coming back and so it's just the Bible says that we have to look for him coming in the clouds so anyway um, it's just yeah it, I kind of got out of studying Bible prophecy and it kind of when I kind of like kind of walked away from God a little bit and everything but now that I'm coming back to him and everything I'm I've been seeing a lot of things that have been happening in the prophetic and everything and it's really amazing and stuff so it's just any believer that is like that does believe in the rapture and stuff like that if you're hoping that it won't happen soon, you need to kind of change your mindset and everything. I'm not going to judge you or whatever like that, but um, it, you do need to look back in the Bible and like and take hope because it's not about you doing all that you want to do. It's about Jesus coming back and taking his believers up to heaven for the marriage supper of the bridegroom or I can't remember what that's called it's some the marriage supper up in heaven and everything but it's just completely amazing because I mean I can't wait for that to happen because it yeah sure there's lots of things that I'd love to do here on earth and everything I'd love to travel the world I'd love to like go to Israel and stuff like that or do whatever but if the rapture happens before I get the chance to do that, then I'm all for it. I can't wait because 
I want to be with Jesus and everything. And I cannot wait for that day. That's going to be amazing because it's just like, it's going to be so, so amazing and everything. But um, anyway, I'm again rambling. Sorry about that. I keep like kind of changing subjects here, but I kind of don't even remember my like first subject that I started with. Um, oh yeah, the book. <laughs> but anyway, um, I I encourage anyone to like read this book so far and stuff like that. And it's just, um, cause anyone who wants a true relationship with God and everything. You need to, like, realize what he's all about. And the Bible says that God is love. It doesn't just say that he loves people or whatever. It says he is love. Love emanates from him. Everything. So, yeah. Anyway, it's like after 16 minutes. So, I probably got to end the video and kind of don't want, don't like going over 15 minutes and everything. I think that's kind of too long and y'all start losing interest when I start rambling. So, you know. Anyway, um, yeah. I just pray that you guys are blessed and that, um, if I don't see you on this earth, I hope to see you in heaven. So, yeah, um, be blessed, YouTube.